Grace and I'm Teresa and you're very welcome to Camp Aware of Water today. Today is our last day of camp. Oh no. But it's okay, we're going to be back again next year. Oh yeah, I can't wait to meet all of you. Exactly. And do you know what we're going to do today? We're going to have a little party to celebrate St. Therese because we've spent all week learning how to be a great saint. Do you want to join us? Yeah, yeah it'll be so much fun. So, you might need to ask a grown-up for a bit of help with this. I did cut myself earlier on in the week, so just as a heads up. But it's going to be so yummy, I can't wait. Mmm, it's going to be great. So, what kind of things could we have? We could have flowers on the table. Yeah. We could have maybe a nice picture or a nice statue of St. Therese. We've got ours here. And we could also have maybe French crepes because St. Therese was French. But we're, what are we going to celebrate and do? We're going to make cupcakes. <gasps> cupcakes! <gasps> Great idea! So, to help us bake these cupcakes, we're going to invite someone very special on. And this is our friend Ruth. She's an excellent baker. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to make cupcakes with you today. I just love St. Therese. Mm, and she's great. I think we're gonna have to make flower cupcakes. <gasps> That's a great Perfect. idea. Yeah. Because St. Therese's name was also the little flower. That's so true. Brilliant idea. So let's make sure our hands are washed. So nice and clean before we start. Perfect. We Our hair is tied up if we have long hair. Mm -hmm. And if you have an apron, pop your apron on. And let's get ready to start. So what we'll need, first of all, is we're going to need pre-baked cupcakes with no decorations on them. We're also going to need pre-made frosting, preferably vanilla, so like a plain white colour. We can also have strawberries or any fruit you have at home so you can chop up bananas, raspberries, blueberries, whatever you have. We've got mini marshmallows, pink and white, and colourful Smarties to decorate. And we're also going to need some white sugar. And last but not least, we'll need colourful food dye, whatever colours you like best. And then, to help us put all these things on the cupcakes, we're gonna need, where's my spoon? We're gonna need a spoon, and we're gonna need click seal bags. This is very important that you can click them closed nice and tight. And last of all, we're gonna need a pair of scissors, but make sure you ask an adult to help you, okay? Because these are very sharp. All right, and also, I almost forgot, we need two empty bowls because we're going to be doing some mixing later, okay? So, I think we're ready. Perfect. Let's so get great. started. All right, for this step, Teresa, I'm going to need your help. Okay. So, do you want to grab the big bowl of sugar? Right. Great. And I want you to put it there and take your click seal bag and open it up. A bag. And I want you to put three nice big spoons of sugar into that bag. Ooh, right. That's a lot of sugar. It's, sugar is tasty. Mm -hmm. Don't eat too much, kids. <laughs> Two. Three. Is that enough or an extra little one? Maybe an extra little one, oh. just in case. There Perfect. There we go. Okay, now I want you to pick up your favourite colour food colouring. That'll have to be pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pink. Pink it is. And do you want to put in about maybe three or four drops? Okay. It looks a bit like nail varnish, but it isn't, does it's it? It's not. It's oh, food colouring. Okay. Be very careful that it is food colouring. Mm -hmm. It's edible. Oh yeah. Edible food colouring. Okay. Just in case. Just, just in, in case, case. You know. So. Look at this. The next step is my favourite. Ooh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's a wee bit messy, but it's nice to get messy sometimes, isn't it? It is. It's good fun. Mm -hmm. As long as you have an apron on. That's it. That's true. true. Look how messy my apron is already. Oh my gosh, you were baking hard. I was baking mm. before. So. Okay, so once you've got your drops of food colouring in, I want you to tightly seal up that bag. Make sure it's all closed up. Perfect. I think that's it, Ruth. I think that is it. Let me have a look. 
Excellent job, Teresa. Thanks. Okay, so now I want you to squish, squish, squish the bag between your fingers okay. so that the sugar gets all mixed up with the food coloring. Right. And you get a nice <laughs> color all throughout the sugar. This is great. I bet you're jealous, aren't you? I am. I want a shot. That part is the best one. <laughs> oh, it's turning out lovely and pink. Look at it. Ooh. Wow. That's so Ooh. cool. Looks like little roses. Oh. I love that. That's so nice. Okay, well, I think that's done. Oh, that's perfect. Now, so this actually takes about 15 or 20 minutes to dry. So we're gonna leave that over to one side and we'll carry on with the rest of the steps. So do you wanna grab your favorite one? Right, mm, that one. Ooh, that's Can I eat it now? One. No. No? Wait until we put the icing on. Okay. We haven't decorated it yet. So now, I want you to do the same thing that Grace did. So take a nice scoop of icing big one like that. That's a bit too big, just Ooh. a little, okay. like, yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Careful it doesn't fall, but you it's okay if it does, because you can lick it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing about baking. <laughs> um, oh, look! So spread that around nice so that it covers all the top of the one. Oh, that's lovely. Boom. Wow. Looks that like a lot of ice. So made it herself. <laughs> And you've got a nice little mountain on the top there. Oh, it looks like an ice cream. Very cool. So this step, we're going to need some strawberries. <gasps> Yummy. Or blueberries or raspberries or whatever fruit you have at home. And now, Teresa, I want you to put them all around the top of the bun, like little petals on a flower. Oh, lovely. Do you want to try that? OK. So we get to leave the little middle bit like that. Yeah. Right, lovely. Are they Wexford strawberries? Um, I think they might be. <gasps> I'm from Wexford! <gasps> Go on, Wexford! That's so cool! Thanks for your strawberries! <laughs> oh, now this wow. is looking good. <laughs> that looks so tasty. <laughs> wow, look at that for a flower. Oh, make sure you press the fruit right into the icing because it can be slippy. It's a little bit messy. That's that beautiful. looks That's so lovely. yummy. <gasps> now, look at that. Good job, Teresa. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that over to one side. That's beautiful! I'm actually very proud of that. I would be. That's so yeah. nice. That looks like the tastiest one so far. Okay. All right, so now, Teresa, it's your turn again. Yeah! So for this one, we're going to need one of our empty bowls and our white icing. And, Teresa, I want you to put a nice big scoop of the white icing into the empty bowl for me. That about right? That's perfect. Ooh, that's a good doll. That's a good scoop. And now I want you to pick your favorite color, food coloring. Go for the pink. The pink, yeah, you can't go wrong. And we're gonna put about two or three drops in there. Just enough so that it changes color, but not too much, because or else it'll get really runny and it won't stick oh, on your bun okay, properly. Okay. So, but so two or three is, drops. This is gel, so it's a little bit different than the liquid. Oh yeah. Isn't it? Yes, yeah, so you can get food coloring as a gel, as a liquid. Just as long as it's food coloring though, make sure you check it's food coloring. Not nail varnish. Not nail varnish. Or definitely. paint. Or paint. We don't want paint uh -uh. in our cupcakes. So make sure you stir that up nice and well. And at the start you'll have kind of a swirly mix of colors, but after a while you should get a nice solid color of your icing. Just like this. Oh wow, that's, that's brilliant. That's pink. It looks like one of those sure, roses that you'd see nice. outside. Ooh. Nearly the same color. Brilliant. So now we're going to grab one of these cupcakes. And what we're going to do is, just like the other times, we're going to take a medium sized dollop and we're going to pop it on and then just put it in nice big round circles going from kind of the outside in. So big swooping circles around your icing. Mm -hmm. There we go. And it's so funny, but when you do this, it ends up looking just like a rose. It's amazing. Ooh, that's cool. It's so cool. All right, there we go. Wow. That is so, look at that. That's so pretty. Oh, lovely, like a big rose. That is cool. Oh, it looks yummy. I don't think we need to put anything else on this one. Mm -mm. That's perfect, just the way it is. Lovely. Yeah. All right, good job, Teresa. Thank you. Well done, guys. We're doing great. So what we're going to do next is a little bit trickier, and you might need a grown-up to help you because we're going to use the scissors. Oh, OK. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take one of our mini marshmallows and Grace, while I'm doing this, do you want to start icing one of the other buns? So you can use the white icing or the pink icing, whichever one you want. Perfect. I'll go for the white. 
and we're going to chop these marshmallows in half with the scissors just down the middle like this there we go and we're going to do a couple of these and have them ready to go for the next step and then when grace is finished icing the bun we're going to take okay that's enough for now we're going to take so yours probably won't be dry yet but we have one that we made earlier so you can wait five minutes before you do this step and mm -hmm. um, but here's one that we made earlier we've got some sugar purple sugar mm -hmm. so what we're going to do is we're going to take that and pour it into our other spare bowl so you can use a spoon or you can pour it whatever works best for you and we'll pour that all in and now if we look at the mini marshmallows that we've chopped we've got one sticky side and one dry side oh yeah here we go, the sticky side and the dry side. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stick the sticky side into the colored sugar, just like this, so you get a nice little frosting on top. So it looks, it looks kind of like glitter or maybe Ooh, like frost yeah. on a frosty morning. Cool. And then we're gonna put that right in the middle of the bun. Do you wanna do that, Grace? Yeah. Lovely. Oh, cool. And now you can put a few more half marshmallows just around that one just like little flower petals again. And it looks really good. Look at this. Wow. That's lovely. Go. That's one of my favorites, I think. I like the little pop of color in the middle. <laughs> that that looks great, good job. Okay. And now for the last one we're gonna show you. Teresa, would you like to take this one? Yeah. Cool, and we're gonna we know the drill at this stage, take another blob of icing, slather it on there. And so we're gonna chop and dip a few more marshmallows, but we've got some prepared from earlier. So we're just gonna Ooh. take our bowl that we've prepared. Oh, yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to also use some Smarties. So we're gonna mix Yum. it up. This is probably the most challenging cupcake yet. Ooh, we love a challenge. So we do love a challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Maybe a yellow Smarty, whatever color you choose is perfect. Lovely. We're gonna go with yellow. yellow. And we're gonna stick it, not quite in the middle, but just up to the corner. That's perfect. And then we're gonna take some of our dipped marshmallows and put them all around that yellow center. Like petals. Just like petals on oh, a flower. Okay, cool. So the middle is kind of like a daisy, because oh, daisies yeah. have a yellow. Oh, my they? favorite. Lovely. They were St. Teresa's favorite as well. Were they? Yeah, she I never knew that. That's so cool. They're one of my favourites for definite. I love making daisy chains. Oh, yes. Yeah, the you can make chains. tulip chains, can you? That's your no. favourite, isn't it? No, <laughs> tulips are my favourite. <laughs> daisy chains are fun as well. Da daisy chains are fun, if I can say the word daisy. <laughs> um, there we go. Wow, look at there this. We go. Amazing. Do you want to show it here? Oh, yeah, just so everybody can <gasps> cool. see it. Now, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take you're gonna to have to dig in your bowl of Smarties a bit for this, but we're gonna try and find two green Smarties, and they're gonna be our stem for our okay. flower. Oh, I see where this is going. And we're gonna stick them in, not flat like we've always been doing, but sideways. So you're gonna stick them in sideways, right underneath your flower, just like this, like Teresa's done here. Here we go, and make sure you jam it right in there so that it doesn't fall out. And we're gonna do that the same with the second one. So we've got a nice long stem on our daisy. Look at that. That is just my blue blossom. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna get a third green smarty. And this is gonna be the leaf. Ooh. So we're gonna stick it out just to the side of the stem at a little angle like this. You can do it whatever way you want. We're getting details here. <gasps> Look at that this. That looks amazing. Now, do you wanna show them? That is a work of art. That looks so good. The castle eats your heart out. I know. <laughs> I think St. Therese would love that one. Yeah. What do you think, Therese? She likes it. <laughs> okay, well, good job, everyone. This was so much fun. Yeah. I loved it. And it was so much fun. Oh, like, I enjoyed every single one of those cupcakes. Mm -hmm. And do you know what the best thing about this is? We can eat them. <laughs> that is also the best thing. But another really good thing is that you can decorate the cupcakes whatever way you want. You can mix up <gasps> yeah. Smarties with marshmallows, Ooh. with a bit of fruit. And then you can have your St. Therese party, just like we're going to. Great! So good job, everyone. Well Go done! Well yeah. done.
Thank you so much for joining us, children. That was so much fun, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I had so much fun. Oh, it was so great to learn about St. Therese, to learn how to become saints, and also to have a fun baking party. My favourite part. <laughs> <laughs> so, will we finish with a little prayer? Great idea. So, let's pray for all the children and the leaders who usually come to the camps. Yeah. And we'll pray for everyone watching online now. Mm. Good idea. In the name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and, and of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Saint Trace the Little Flower, help us to grow in love for Jesus every day. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. God, God bless. bless.